Hey guys, welcome to day 194 of my carnivore journey. I hope you're having a great journey. If you're not, let me know about it. I'll try to see if I can help you. <laughs> but no, I mean, look, guys, if you're wondering, if you're new to this, if you've stumbled across this and it's your first time watching, um, stick around. I've been giving just about a day-to-day -day diary. Um, I haven't missed a day until recently, and then I, I kind of, you know, but the first six months, Every single day is documented and mostly every day since. And I pretty much tell you what I ate and how I feel and sometimes advice or things that I've learned along the way, that type of stuff. Anyways, tonight, um, just wanted to cover a few quick things. One is thank you guys for those of you that have gone over to my roommate's uh, channel and started to follow him. You know, I really appreciate that. Again, he needs all the support he can. The Carnivore Tales, that's the name of his channel. I'll leave the link um, down below. Today, uh, Today's food update, I had a total of four hot dogs and one small bag, a two ounce, I believe like just a little over two ounce bag of pork rinds um, and a steak. <laughs> I had a nice steak. Like, so I, my steaks, I've been doing just salt. Okay, now, for a few of you that have suggested the two-day dry-aged steak in the fridge, um, it's still in there. I prepped it yesterday, so to tomorrow I will have the dry-aged or, what you know, the two-day. Now, from what I understand, you guys told me to salt it and leave it in the fridge uncovered for a couple days, and that's what I'm doing. So I will find out how that comes out. Um. And I guess, you know, of course, I'll cook it up tomorrow. But today I just had a regular old steak, <laughs> so to speak, I guess, um, with just salt. And then, of course, uh, some, you know, about three tablespoons of butter total. Like I use like one and a half tablespoons of butter when I flip it over um, after the first side sears. I'll flip it over and then I'll put like about one and a half tablespoons worth of butter on the one side, let it kind of melt as the other side sort of finishing off. And then I'll pull it off. And while it's resting, I'll put another like three thin, you know, th thinly sliced pieces of butter, not thinly, but you know what I mean? Like about another table and spoon and a half or so of butter on that and let it sort of melt while it's resting. And then I eat the steak and the melted butter and juices kind of act as like a little bit of a dipping sauce as well on the side of the plate or, you know, whatever the juices, you know, so good. Um, but yeah, I mean, my steaks are amazing. They taste amazing. They're not getting old to me again without I'm not using any other spices, but just the salt and then maybe the butter. And even if they start to get old to me, I'll eliminate the butter and see if that helps. But so far, they've just been amazing. Um, anyways, the hot dogs, I ended up having two more hot dogs later on. I didn't really eat them out of boredom or I didn't eat them out of hunger. And so, yes, that's bad. But I also was for some reason having a huge desire to cheat on carnivore. I know, I know. It's weird, but like I just was for some reason, I kept telling myself I'm going to get more coffee at the gas station tonight when I was doing my second job. And I was like, OK, I'm going to get another cup of coffee from the gas station. But I'm going to this time, I think I'm going to go ahead and treat myself to some French vanilla creamer. And I was talking myself into it. I was like, I was like, oh, I was like. It's look, I could just do that would be like my one treat, you know, maybe once a month. I just do like coffee with a little bit of vanilla cream or something, you know, the French vanilla creamer, not a whole lot of, sh you know, sugar, blah, blah, blah. Now, for some reason, I was trying to talk myself into this. I don't know why. I don't know where this came from, guys. I wasn't hungry. I didn't feel like I don't know. I just don't know where it came from. And I got to the gas station. I went in to go get my second cup of coffee. And when I went to go put to put the creamer in, I didn't. I didn't do the French vanilla. <laughs> I didn't. Um, so, you know, I didn't do it. 
So, but I did grab two hot dogs. Um, I think it was kind of a way of like, I don't know, substituting like a naughty craving for something that was at least in the carnivore lane, <laughs> you know? So it was kind of more of, um, Hey, I'll just, I'll just have a couple of these hot dogs here and, you know, and then that way, maybe, I don't know, I guess just a mental thing. And it helped. I mean, obviously I stayed within carnivore and I'm perfectly satisfied and everything. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, yeah, <laughs> it was, cl I don't know why. Again, I, I still view all that stuff as toxic poisons. I know that all of that stuff is artificial. It just leads to bad things. I know what sweeteners do for the body, no matter what kind of sweeteners they are, the insulin and the glucose, all that stuff. Like, I, I get it. But I'm just speaking the truth, man. Um, other than that, guys, don't forget about allcarnivoreinfo.com. I really appreciate you guys, all the support, love. Guys, we are... Again, trying to make a great resource for people. Um, if you have any suggestions, anything, of course, you guys know, hit me up in the comments, hit me up on the website, whatever it takes. Uh, I'm here and I, I do listen to you guys and I hope you listen to me. Um, either way, it's kind of a two way street. I love you guys being a part of my channel. Um, you guys are awesome. So, all right, guys, man. 194 today, right? That's what I said, 194. Man, can you imagine? I mean, I know some of you have been with me a long, long time, way back, even in the beginning, and some of you have watched me from the very beginning, and some of you don't always comment, and then you'll just pop in every once in a while. But, man, how long has this been going? I can't wait. I can't wait. Um I, I do plan on doing a few more things. We're going to see how the rest of this month plays out because I've got, you know, this whole transition ever since I've been going through this divorce and then moving on my own. And then now that I got my roommate here, I had some car expenses. Um, I hope I can start getting some extra cash freed up soon where, you know, I can start to, catch up on some things i still got to get a washer dryer like a used washer dryer I've, I've, there's there's just certain things i've got to get still and but i do want to get like a weight bench and a basic you know some some basic weights i used to have a bunch of stuff but again it's not here uh anymore and that in my new house so i um i want to get some basic things that i want to work on because if i'm going to work out like a little bit there's just some things that i want to do you know what i mean and so but, but that's my plans, and again, I'm, I'm working on it. So, all right, guys, we will see you tomorrow as we get ever so closer to the next 90 days or even the next 30 days to weigh in. So um, what was that day? What is that going to be anyways? Day 210? So, yeah, we're at, you know, we're, we're only a few weeks away from weigh-in. So I'll be curious. I'll be curious. All right, guys. Bye.